Hello, I'm John Wokasin and I'm Quill the Bosun with the Exmouth Shantyman. So firstly I'd like to thank Brian of Holcomb for his interviews. I think they're great fun to be able to have a go at doing this and really nice to be invited to tell you a little bit about shanties and why I'm involved with it. He's asked lots of questions and the first one is what first made me aware of sea shanties? Well, I'm a Portsmouth boy. I know I was born in Edinburgh, but I was brought up in Portsmouth. So I was always close to the sea, always really aware of the Navy. I can remember the sailors going around in their ratings uniforms down in the town uh, where they, they would go out for the night and you'd have the military police going around to, want to, to pick them up when they got a bit drunk later on at night. So it was uh, a different world in those days. But always involved with the sea and navy days in Portsmouth dockyard and going on ships like HMS Albion uh, obviously visited the Victory several times always been very much in touch with it I worked at Portsmouth City Council and uh, I serviced the Mary Rose working party and I met people like Margaret Rule who was involved with bringing the Mary Rose to the surface. So I was involved in those early discussions and taking notes at those meetings. And wow, I don't think I was about 20 at the time, not really aware of the importance of that. So no involvement with shanties when I was young, particularly, and wasn't really aware of them. I was more aware of Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd, King Crimson. Frog Rock was was my thing really i really enjoyed that uh, so it wasn't till later life and it sounds corny but i was watching bbc spotlight and they were doing a bit on shanties on the farmer shanty festival and it was flash jacks i think were performing and they were having a jolly good time and i was involved here as tank clark in exmouth for helping to arrange the exmouth festival and i thought i wouldn't mind getting involved in performance i don't play an instrument particularly but that looks really good fun. I like the idea of singing with a group. And so I got in touch with a friend who said, what about getting something organised? And within a year, I suppose, took a bit of a while, he got a group of us together and uh, got the Exmouth Shantyman started. And that was Martin Nichols. So we, we'd love to do a good, robustious performance and put a lot of uh, entertaining into our performance. Uh, we might not be the best singing crew in the world, but we certainly enjoy ourselves and I think give that enjoyment to our audiences. So once I became in, in aware of shanties, I listened to quite a lot. And the, the group that inspired me most of all were Kimber's men. Those Yorkshiremen, no nonsense, uh, deliver shanties with great strength and power, that wonderful bass note coming through great harmonies i learned a lot from just listening to to their shanties so they would be my inspiration i suppose just really um the idea that it's not just about shanties it's about the sea it's about sea songs it's about uh the emotions of you know, being dragged away from your home on these sailing ships on terrible voyages, the discipline of the Royal Navy with the cat and nine tails and and the keel hauling and the terrible punishments that were dished out to the to the men if they didn't do what was expected of them. So all of that sort of stuff, uh, it's it's full of horror, romance, uh, sadness, passion, and. That's what I like from, from the shanties. They're often simple songs. They're work songs too, and they drive the men. It's about motivation. It's, a, it's about the sea songs where the sailors were thinking about home and entertaining themselves. So there's a whole range there. I'm more interested in the feelings that evoke within me from the songs uh, and then being able to deliver them and perform them. Uh, with with a kind of passion, I suppose. If you feel the songs that you're singing, then you can express that to your audiences in a way that I think they will share those emotions through uh, an evening's performance, perhaps. 
and go away having experienced quite deep sadness, great joy and a robustiousness as well that uh, comes from it all and a humour. So the go away smiling. People love shanties. It's, it's such fun seeing young people getting involved and, and singing these songs with great rhythms and power. So in 13 years of being a shanty man, I've experienced a lot of trips abroad, festivals, concerts in village halls, pubs absolutely rammed with people, pubs with just the publican and the dog, where we just entertained our wives and partners and ourselves, really. It's a great variety of, of entertainment in people's homes, weddings, funerals. Funerals can be really evocative with some of the songs that we've we've sung at funerals and there's never a dry eye in the house by the time we finished um, but a lot of humor that is brought out in the funeral as well which reflects well on the on the people whose lives we're celebrating when we visited the festivals of poland we've been so well received by the audiences and the other uh, performers and the organizers it's just so lovely and uh, we just really, really always have a good time when we go to Poland and singing in the Starry Port, that underground bar which is absolutely rammed with people. Uh, it's just something else. You have to experience it. To, to You have to be there to experience it and to, to be able to really understand it. It's difficult to put into words the feeling you get when you perform to that place and you've got all these people who are smiling and laughing and having a great time with with what you're doing so that's it and also i think when we were at shrewsbury folk fence festival and we we turned up to sing in the marquee about lunchtime one of the first performances of the festival and we thought mm, i don't know how many people are going to be there because we didn't see front of house and we're at backstage and we got on stage and the whole place was completely full and all around the outside of the marquee uh, the sides of which were rolled up. It was just incredible. Well over a thousand people watching us and uh, engaging with our performance. And I, I think that was the real buzz, buzz that we had. And you can't explain the buzz when you're on stage. You can rehearse your songs. You can work with, with your crew and do everything you can to get everything perfect. But somehow when there's an audience in front of you and they're engaged, that just gives you so much power really to express yourself and to give all everything that you've got really. It's um, a real emotional experience and you feel afterwards, you, you've got that great feeling of, of adrenaline and a great buzz and, and then you're exhaustion later on because you you do you give everything you've got and I, I think that's why it's so popular and so many people are, are getting involved with it at the moment and the more the merrier I say I've been meeting down with with Brian and a few of us down on uh, Holcomb Beach and it's been a joy to get together and to sing and just a few of us singing on the beach and people out walking their dogs they'll come past dogs will join in and the people, they enjoy coming and just listening and taking the odd video. And uh, it's, it's just lovely, the effect that it has. And I think there are so many groups now uh, that are, are getting involved that the shanty scene is only going to get bigger. And uh, we look forward to be able to go to Farmer's Shanty Festival. I mean, that's amazing where you get so many people, so many groups together and people of all ages coming together to enjoy it in that beautiful town of Falmouth and we look forward to, to doing that particularly. If I've got any advice to give to, to anybody else wanting to get involved with shanties, do it. Just get involved. You don't have to worry too much about being perfect at music. Helps if you can sing in key. Helps if you can carry a harmony. Helps if you've got different levels of people in, in your group that can sing um, the higher notes, the baritones and, and the basses. So tenor, baritones and basses. If you, if you can divide up your group like that, that always helps. Uh, and then you get a nice rich sound from your crew. Numbers aren't important in a sense. 
you see Kimber's men, they make a great sound with just four powerful voices. Um, being prepared to project your voice and give it passion. That's what I would say. Get immersed in it and enjoy it and, and you'll have a wonderful time. And it's a great way to make friendships as well. So, you know, all the people we meet when we go around the country and meeting all the other shanty groups, it's lovely to meet them. And we keep in, we've kept in touch with them on Facebook recently, which has been really good. So, yeah, we love them all. And, uh, you know, we rejoice in each other's success, I think. And the more success we can get with, with the shanty genre, uh, the better, I think. So get on and do it and enjoy it. I think the last thing I, I would like to say is just a thank you to all the crew on the Exmo Shanty Men. The song I'd like to sing with Brian and Goff and, and Dave as well. And we went for a shanty session, one of um, the Holcomb shanty sessions uh, with Brian. And we had a, a good time singing it. And it was um, the Good Ship Malarkey. And of course, the Good Ship Malarkey for us, for the Exmo Shanty Men, that's what we say is our mode of transport wherever we go. It's a great song. It's it, it's got a good rhythm. It could be a capstan shanty because the pace is kind of steady and rhythmic and mesmeric, and it goes on and on, and it just gives you that beat. But it just gets you into to a, that state of of being mesmerised. Really, it's a it's a good song. Thanks, Brian. Bye. Tell me what is this good boat's name in that sailboat Malarkey? Oh, tell me now what is this good boat's name in that sailboat Malarkey? Who is the man who built this fine boat? Sailboat Malarkey. Richardson, Richardson built this fine boat. Sailboat Malarkey. And now, me boys, we are bound out to sea. Sailboat Malarkey. A windward Caroline come down to me. Sailboat Malarkey. She's lovely aloft and she's lovely below. Sailboat Malarkey. And best on her back is you very well know. Sailboat Malarkey. Away, away to St George's Town. Sailboat Malarkey. And the rats come battling the houses down. Sailboat Malarkey. Now I give the world and all that I know. Sailboat Malarkey. To roll and go with my Lucio. Sailboat Malarkey. Now pick her up, boys, and lay her down. Sailboat Malarkey. And hold on tight as she bounces around. Sailboat Malarkey. Oh, tell me what is this good boat made? Sailboat Malarkey. Oh, tell me now what is this good boat made? Sailboat Malarkey. Sailboat Malarkey. Sailboat Malarkey. Sailboat.